Hi, I'm Jonathan from the Limerick Post, here are the top stories from the week. Firstly, this week saw the launch of the We Want Our Vote campaign, a campaign surrounding the vote to allow Limerick to vote for its own democratically elected mayor. The vote passed in the 2019 local elections, but has yet to be passed legislatively. A collection of leaders from the business, volunteers and from academics gathered in Ardless Key Park to launch this campaign. From Linda Ledger from the St. Munchens Community Centre and from Mary Fitzgerald from the Woodlands House Hotel in Odea, noting how the, the, ability, the inability to pass this legislation in Dublin is a very hard pill to swallow as it stops Limerick from reaching its full potential. Following on from that, Liverpool Limerick chairperson John Moran noted how the current government is essentially in limbo because they're waiting on this for to be ratified, saying that they can't make big decisions because they're essentially a caretaker government waiting for the de- democratically elected mayor process to come in. The scale of this change, however, was laid out by Associate Professor of Economics at UL, Stephen Kinsler, who noted how this potential change to local government would be the first in the Republic's history, and how the potential change would impact Limerick in that the new directly elected mayor would have hundreds of millions in financial assets to be administered, and the economic effects of those would be off the charts. A link to the movement's website and a petition to get this change and get along quicker is in the description below. And following on from that, and staying on local government, a new role is up for grabs in the Limerick City and County Council in the role of the Chief Executive of Limerick City and County Council after the current interim Chief Executive, Dr Pat Daly, has stepped down from his interim basis following on from Con Murray's decision to step down after his contract ended in late 2019. The new Chief Executive would be in line for 164000 a year and one of their first responsibilities would be overseeing the revenue and capital budget for 2021 to the tune of 1.1 billion euros, 659 million of which is taken under the Housing Assistance Payment Scheme, which is to be dealt out to over 31 local authorities. The role is also to look after 1,500 staff members up until the directly elected mayor is brought in, when the chief executive then becomes the director general and then becomes an advisor to the mayor, but the Director General still has staff responsibilities and managing the Council's finances. The new Director General slash Chief Executive is expected to hold a position for seven years or until they reach 70 years of age. And lastly, the demographic changes of Ireland over the past 30 years has seen it become home to various nationalities and new ethnic backgrounds. So much so that the Muslim population of Limerick over the past 20 years has seen it jump from a few hundreds in the the early 2000s to almost 4,000 in 2017. In order to facilitate this change, a number of pop-up mosques were built in Limerick in community centres over the past 20 years to facilitate prayer and religious festivals. But that they were a Islamic group, a non-profit and a non-political global organisation about spreading education has been given the opportunity and permission to build the first purposely built mosque in Limerick. The new mosque will be built on the junction between Wickham, Parnell, Sexton and Upper Gerald Griffin Street, the new mosque being four storeys high. This decision will obviously lead to disagreement on whether this is a good decision or not, but given that this Islam is the second biggest highest growing population in Ireland, being that in a few decades will become the second highest religion in Ireland, passing Orthodox and the Church of Ireland, but measly being just 3% of the population, given that Catholics in 20-30 years will still be over 80% of the population, accepting what is to be Irish is not something that we've handled as a nation smoothly in the past, so accompanying a tiny f- fragment of the population into local a- areas and giving them all, all giving them their own facilities is something that is not really newsworthy and has been the least newsworthy thing I've said all day. But that's obviously up for disagreement. I've been Charles Finnell from the Mac Post. Those have been the top stories in the week. And from the last six months, given this is my last roundup, hopefully somebody in the coming months will carry on from what I've been doing and hopefully they'll have a better camera as well. So thanks for watching. I've been Sean Finnan from the Limerick Post. Those have been the top stories from the week. Have a good morning, evening, afternoon or night.